Now we have $2,000.340 in our bank. What we're going to do is we're going to try our best to make sure that that $340 is held in our account as much as possible for what we're about to spend today. And here's what I'm going to spend. I'm going to buy a register. I'm going to buy a rack. I'm going to even expand our storage. So let's do this real quick. We're going to install a register. Like we need an extra register. <sighs> Which one do we need though? Which one are we going to go for? Now that I think of it. Hold on. What 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 counter do we have right now? Okay, that's the one on the left. We'd have to mirror it. If I want to make it look nice, we're going to have to mirror it. Okay? I'm going to install a rack. I'm going to buy a freezer. You know, I take out the freezer. Take out the freezer right now. Take out the freezer. Ooh. You know what? Let's expand our store first before we buy the furniture. Or can we even... Can we even expand it, though? Growth. Thirteen hundred dollars? Four by four? Oh, we are trying to expand our freaking supermarket. It's for the supermarket's growth. It is for the supermarket's growth. Ah! Oh my gosh, look at, the, look at the growth. Look at the growth. Now we have a 4x4. Four four, which is basically a bigger version of a 1x1 one one Lego piece. Um, how are we going to do this though? I'm trying to think of like... I'm trying to think of an idea to expand. How are we going to adjust it? We have four shelves and then... Three fridges. For now, what we'll do... We'll move this here. But unfortunately, it won't move. Wow, Jeffrey, your Naruto drawings are so good. Ew. All right. Perfect. Let's grab this one. That is so off center. There we go. Now I got it. Um, let me move these over here too. Now, remember, remember, we had 340 left in our account. So what we, what we can spend right now, if we wanted to, is an extra 
six hundred something. Let me let me see here. A thousand forty minus. We can spend seven hundred dollars. We can spend seven hundred dollars on dot, or like that's the like assumption. Ooh, I got an idea. I got an idea. We're going to rotate them. There we go. And then what we're going to do, we're going to throw a second register right here. Uh, just for me. For my um, for my sake, uh, just in case we have like a stacked line of customers, customers. What, what am I saying? Customers, customers. I sound like I'm from New York or something. This is gonna be interesting. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be very interesting. Um, how are we gonna do this though? We're gonna have to expand for sure. There we go. I think that looks all right for now. Uh, it's not the fanciest looking, but it'll, it'll sure get the job done. But yeah, what, what we'll do is we'll just expand probably more shelves and, um, you know, new racks or something, which we can do right now. But let, let me check on the... Let me check on management. Bills. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, two days left. Growth. Hiring. Storage. I can I can unlock storage. I can unlock storage, but that's over our budget. That is over our budget by a hundred. Well yeah, by a hundred. Customizations, bank, payments. Okay. Yeah, that's that's over our budget. <laughs> we can even buy new product licenses. We have three to choose from. But we don't have enough storage. Like, we don't have enough shelves. We don't have enough anything to even place them in. That's the only problem. Um, so our best bet right now is to buy installments, like some new furniture. And what I'm thinking, and I said this earlier, I'm thinking... That we purchase one register in one small rack. That is $700, exactly the amount we can buy right now. The, exactly the amount we can invest in and still have the money that we had earlier left over. So we basically spent all of our debt. We spent all the loan. I mean, so we spent all the loan and we're going to pay it back within 19 days and we'll still have enough to pay for our rent and bills at the same time. 
Oh, we'll be off by like two dollars ish. Two dollars. I'm still gonna buy it. We have emergency funds just in case, which is perfect. All right, let's get this out of the way. Oh, I didn't even realize how big that rack is. Holy crap! That's a big rack. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, is this rack even meant for this spot? No, it's not. Box up. We're putting it in storage. We are placing it in storage. We might use it for when our store gets bigger. There's no way we can use it, but we, we have we have future proof investments. But we need this. I know we need this. I wanted to put it, I wanted to put it over here. It's like, we don't have much room. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to move this up a little bit. As well as this. And then see if it works. Wait, that actually can fit. But it'd be a tight squeeze. That'd be a tight squeeze, bro. What we can do is move it up a little bit more. How much space would that leave me? We go outside, see how this side looks more stretched out, more expanded. But at the same time, I can now fit. I can now fit in this spot. Put this right here. It's a little too this side. But at the same time, this is not evened out. That looks goofy already, just being right there. Wait, that one does the same thing. Okay, so wait. It might work. It might work. Let me 
see it from this point of view. You'd see a random desk right there. Monitoring. We'd be monitoring this spot too. That that'd be the cool thing. Yeah, I think that'll work. Anyways, let me let me check on prices. Let me check on some prices here. Is there anything we gotta Okay, the bread I think we already checked out for the prices. Yeah, yeah. Earlier we did check on the prices for that. Six thirty five. Let's do six forty five. Making five dollars extra. Five dollars and four cents. Okay. I think we are ready. I think we are ready to open. We had no like barely any complaints about like prices last day so we should be fine now and we should be able to you know make our thousand dollars plus and there is but here's the thing how are people able to get upstairs is that what the door's for yeah that's what the door's for Thank you for shopping at your store otaku. Or, thank you for shopping at your otaku's freaking supermarket. We have the best deals around. Come on in. It's a lovely location, a lovely day to be shopping for your favorite foods. Bro. Yeah, get, get out of here. Okay, fine. You, you want to go on my register? Are you kidding me? Um, two dollars. I, sh I should have snuck in for getting a few cents. Hi, right, thank you for shopping with us. How did, how did you like our service? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They had the audacity to come to my register instead of the other guys. Mine is used for emergencies only. Couldn't find fluorine flower. Bro, people are cheaping out today. People are actually cheaping out today. We have to make bank. But look, some other people are actually buying it. This guy looks like he's he has some high status in the workforce. He looks like he's a CEO or something. These people look like they could afford it. Somebody take that last darn salt over there. Bottle wires to exp Oh my gosh, we have like three or four complaints already. Oh my gosh. How much did you spend? $65? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I need to be monitoring them because I got to make sure that we get no more complaints. We got to start making money, bro. We have to start making money. Let's see. Let's see what they complain about. I'll be monitoring them at my desk. So, so far, the spaghetti or the flour and then like the rice are like the only things that are complaining about. All right. Let's see what we, what you bought here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 37.50. Thank you so much. Oh, I got the, I got the yacht. I got my girl, my future wife. I got my future, dude, I would actually smash that girl in the video game. I don't care if it's a sim. I would smash, I, I need a freaking, um, I need a freaking, uh, strip club simulator or something. Or a ho love hotel simulator. Dude, I would love that. One, two, three, four. 50, 75, 66, 70. Thank you so much. Have a good day. How you doing over there, bro? You handling the customers all right? You need any help? No? All right. I'm going to go man monitor these customers over here. We are making bank. We are so close to $1,000 already. And it's not even 9 o'clock. Look at, look at, look at freaking the minimum wage over there. Freaking taking all the customers. And I just get like, you know, one. <laughs> Relieve some stress off of me. Couldn't find the flaring flower. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're so hot. Hey, baby. <laughs> Alright. 
I'm, I'll be with you in a second. Six dollars for friggin' water. You're getting scammed. <laughs> yo, what were you doing over there, you two? Hey, yo. Hey, and I get the hot chick over here. Couldn't. Yeah, so our main complaint right now is that people couldn't find the flower. We don't have any flower right now. Wait. 25, 35, 45. There you go. Okay, so we gotta buy the flower. We have to buy the flower the next day. Or, hold on. Can we fit it somewhere? We'll buy it tomorrow. We'll buy it tomorrow for sure. Oh, crap. How much are you spending, buddy? $52. Thank you so much. $52.95. There we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is almost time for closing. We have four. We have less than four hours left. Let's start, you know, turning on the lights for now. I owe you seven dollars and seventy cents. I have fifty, sixty, seventy. There you go. Yeah, everybody's complaining about not having any flour in here, so we have to get flour. I think we put too much pasta down. Yeah, we put a little bit too much pasta down today. Yeah, and they're not really selling much. I mean, I did put like four rows. Four spaces of them in there, so it does make sense at the same time. I need to install some, like, a light over here. I think of a shop. That's it? Man, you're cheap. Oh, well, he's trying to lose weight. I guarantee he's probably just losing... What are you gonna do with just... What are you gonna do with just that? You're gonna drink a whole freaking olive oil or something and burn yourself. Uh. Hey, oh my god, I got something in my freaking register I need to go get. Be right back. Thank you for shopping at your ML Taco's supermarket. Have a blessed day. She's cheating on me with my coworker. Great! She's cheating on me with my coworker that I pay 80 a day for. He's literally making 80 a day. <laughs> Open to close. Literally. But look at that. We are over a thousand dollars. We are over a thousand dollars. This is awesome. Let's see here. Let me close the. We'll shut the light. It's closing time. We're gonna shut the light. Work in the dark. Work in the dark is pretty fun. I've done it before. One of my managers. Had us work in the dark one time. Or we were sent home early. And she just worked in the dark. She wanted to work in the dark. 50, 75, 85, 90, 1, 2. There you go. Milk couldn't find. Oh, we're out of milk? We're out of milk? Dang. But yeah, we got a lot of complaints. We got a lot of complaints today. I, I, I really am expecting a lot of complaints. Yes, hold on. Is there anybody? Okay, they're going inside. Dang. Oh, it is closing time. Is nobody's coming over? We are concluding the day right there with... Wait! We still managed... We still managed to be under... We had more satisfied customers at the end of the day. We had more satisfied customers. What? What? And we still made profit. We lost our profit from, like, the loans and all that. Well, the, yeah, from the loan, which is understandable. 
we literally spent exactly two thousand dollars. The exact loan amount. Six hundred ninety nine dollars of supply costs. Rent a hundred dollars, bills eighteen dollars. Dude. Just you see. Just you see. We are market prices change for the following products. Flour what was it? Coke? Dude. Let's see how much we have left just by, you know, making that profit yesterday and then paying off our employee for today. And for that night, I mean. Um, management. Let's go to bills. $16 today. $50 as well. I got to start making my loan payments as well, so I got to check that out. We gotta find a way to get to two thousand dollars. We gotta find a way to get to two thousand dollars. Payments. Three days left. We have three days left until we can, you know, pay it, or we can pay it today. What I think we should do right now is just worry about what we need to stock. That's what we need to worry about right now. We'll worry about the funds later, but what we need to do is expand our safe, like our safety funds. We need to we need to hold off on spending so much. We keep spending our entire profit that we have nothing left, and we're just getting the same amount every single time. Here's the thinking process right here. This is the thinking process. But anyways, um. We could buy a freezer. That'd be great. That would be great. That would be great, for sure. We could buy an extra shelf. Shoot. I'm going to be more conservative with this. Like, all this is so tempting to advance, but at the same time, we are only making the same $1,000 each day now. We need one spotlight. That's for sure. We need one spotlight. Place it right. Let me look at this properly. It right here. Or hold on. Eh, nah, put it right here. That's better. I'm going to place this light over here. Place this light over here. Hmm. Okay, now we have $1,100. So let's see what we need left. We have a, a good amount of flour. We need bread. Let me go see if we have any bread inventory in the back. If we don't have any bread, that means we have to buy some. This time, uh, this is what we usually do at work. We always go check to see if there's any in the back or in front. And if not, then that's when we actually start, you know, writing it down for, you know, the management to, you know, purchase more inventory in the future. But how much do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need ten. One pack is already enough. One case is good enough. Um, let's check this inventory. We're running low on the oil. That's for sure. We're running low on this oil. Um, we need how much? Two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We need 13. We can do with just one. I think one will do. Um, we need... We're out of milk. We are out of the packs of milk. 
Always monitor how much you have. Always make sure you have the right amount. Oh. 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 Somebody took the salt. Somebody took the salt, so that means... Inventory time. One, two, three. There we go. Throw you out here. I'm not putting you in the trash can yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, we can start wasting our inventory boxes. For just the peanut butter. The fact we had like... 11 left. <laughs> we are covered. We are covered, bro. We are so covered. Um... But yeah, we needed that. But yeah, let's focus on just the ambient stuff first. Ambient stuff first before anything. Bread, oil. We had that rung up, right? Bread, oil, and then milk. Bread, oil, milk. Bread, oil, milk. We need one case of tea. We have any tea? Yes, we do. I want to make sure that I get rid of all my boxes in the storage before we advance with, you know, buying stuff. The less amount you could spend, the better. You, the whole goal of, you know, running a business is spending less and making more. How can you actually implement that? How, how can you spend less and make more each day to expand your company? There we go. All right, coffee. I know we're low on coffee. And we got like one more. We got one more in here. We're gonna hold that off for the next time. That is a lot. Holy crap, that is a lot. Hold on, where's that fair flower? We didn't even buy the flour. We need that flour. So, people are in demand for the fair flour. Or the farine flour. Eight case, like eight per case is enough for one shelf. It is enough for one shelf. So, how are we going to work this out? We need, so, we need one of these... To go out. I don't want to put it down here because we run out of sugar already. We 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 lose more sugar than we do with the pastas. So that's what we're also gonna buy. We're also gonna buy the sugar. Sugar, if I do recall, fifteen dollars a case, and that provides twelve a a case. Twelve a case, and how much do we need? Do I want to spend that much? 139. Okay, we'll, we'll spend that much. Um, we're not low on any cereal, so we'll hold on to that. Salt we're not running low out of yet. Flour we're not running low on it yet. Did I grab that olive oil? We're gonna... You know what? I'm thinking about it. We're gonna not spend that. Okay. Let's focus on... If I got it right. Let's buy some cases of the flour just in case. Just in case anything happens. We're going to buy two cases, which is 16 per case. Well, 16 together. A total of $53, which leads us to $192. We're still within our budget. 
We're still within our budget. Let's work on figuring out what we need for the refrigerator. We need more Zap Soda. We don't need any more Turco Soda. We need more Apple Juice. So usually when they're like, usually when you're about like halfway through your inventory being sold, you want to buy more. That That's usually what you want to do. When you're like very low, you all like very low and I would say half. You always want to prep yourself with some more inventory. Um, so Sprite or that Zap Soda we need. One case of that is 24 um, we also need that apple juice, and that's 16. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We could hold off on buying cheese. I think we could hold off buying cheese. One, two, three. Let's buy water. Let's buy water. Buy one case. Let's buy one case of it. Hey, hold on. Well, let's do this. Buy one case of water. There we go. One, one, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So you could buy ten things at a time. Two sixteen. Okay, so what we did, we eliminated one of the packs of sugars, one of the cases of sugars. We dropped the amount on that, and we just added in the bottled water. So now we have everything that we need to stock. So this is coming in when our inventory empties out. So... Place that here. Don't run over my inventory, by the way. Let's get the water. Okay, close that and then drop it off over here. Take care of the big things first. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. That should be good. Then we have the milk packs. The milk gets sold out a lot. We really need to up the price on that. I'm going to increase it by like a few cents. I'm not going to increase it by like extra dollars because you know you don't really need milk 15 let's do 15 25 do 15 25 see how they'll do with that um next is the z Zap soda. Alright, close that. And we put that away. And I just pushed that accidentally. Next is this Farina flower. This employee needs to start doing something. You know, he's just standing there doing nothing. We got, like, stuff to stock. Bro, you might as well start cleaning or something. That's what, that's what, um... That's what the devs should do. They should make some idle animation, like some animations of like NPCs doing, like you know, cleaning, essential cleaning, and you know, stocking or something of something. Because a similar ain't a sim unless you know you see things that are actually happening in real life. And usually at other jobs, if you are not doing anything at all. You know, you find work to do to buy time. Alright. 
put that in the trash, and then the oil. That's being sold quite a bit. So I'm gonna raise it up by like, let's say 715. 7.15. I'm gonna raise the price on the sugar to f wait. I've been underselling. Uh uh. I've been underselling. Oh wait, that's underselling for today. Um, what things went up in price? You are gonna pay a premium. I swear, you are gonna pay a premium if you're gonna order with me. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. I am charging thirteen dollars now, going up by an extra dollar. We're going by an extra dollar. So, coffee went up in price. Um, cola went up in price. I'll go three ten. So, cola went in price. Coffee went up in price, and flour. Ooh, flour went up in price. Three sixty one. How about three ninety nine? Three ninety nine. We'll go three ninety nine with that one. Infl gotta keep up with inflation, buddy. Gotta keep up with inflation. All right, apple juice. We have to fill up on our apple juice here. What else we need? What other stuff in here in my refrigerated section do I still have? Let me bring in an orange juice just to see if I need some. Yep, I I, I should definitely stop stock that for sure. What else do I need? I have waters. I have sodas. Um. I need the I could, I could stock on the colas since I have inventory. Okay, save that for the next day. That's hiding in a corner. <laughs> let, me, let me just see if I still have any. Yeah, I can stock it. I can easily stock it. Grab that from the corner here. One left. <laughs> it was just one measly. Hey! Nice seeing you again, babe. Ooh, milk. Milk. Do we have any milk? We still selling slowly the milk. We are still slowly. Slowly but surely. Let's play right here. Blue flour and salt. Blue flour and salt. Easy. I'm gonna get rid of these since I have them. Let's 
salt. We have a few left, about like six, right? Oh, that was the right amount. Okay. That's great. Um, yep. Yep. Mm hmm. All right. I think it's time that we open shop. I think we are ready. Let me just make sure that everything was price checked. Yep. Everything was price checked. Um, let me make sure that everything was paid off on the right days. So our budget right now that we're holding on to is $900. So we're going to try our best to try to increase it over time. Our sa like our saving, we're going to keep saving over time as higher and higher as possible. We could expand our storage. Which would be cool, but right now what we want to do is we want to keep the budget up so we can afford our bills, our rent, and then our loan. We have to pay off the loan. That's going to be in three days, so we can plan these in time. We are ready to start making money. Open for business. Let us begin, shall we? And the first customer of the day, and it's not the hoe. Okay. Okay. It is not her. I get it. I understand. I understand. Totally understand. <laughs> and now we play the waiting game. We got everything stocked the way we want it to be. And, you know, making sure that we are in the budget. But all we gotta do now is just play the waiting game. Maybe here I, I have a I have a thought right now, chat. Maybe I might lower the price on one of those flowers or something, or like the Italian foods, so I can actually throw in stock the 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 farine flour, if you recall, so I can actually just get it on shelves. Uh, one dollar. There we go. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. So far, everybody is paying. Everybody is paying. Let's see. Everybody wants to come to my register today, it seems. All right, thank you so much. Have a good day. Uh, 535. 535, thank you. You are due $52. And you get 70 cents back. Have a good day. Let's see. Any complaints? No? Any, uh, no, no complaints? I should, I should put my freaking employee right over here. Just because it makes sense. It just makes... Uh, coffee dark is too... Okay, so the coffee is too expensive. We're probably going to have to drop it. Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. We'll drop it to twelve fifty. Eggs are too expensive. So eggs are too expensive, and coffee is too expensive for just a couple of people. Just a couple. We only had, like, two complaints. Let's see. Let's see if there's any other complaints. Yeah, you better do some work over there, buddy. I ain't taking all these freaking orders. So far, so good. And those are three of the same people. All right, I'll be with you, sir. How you doing? Find everything you're looking for. Twenty-one fifty. Incorrect amount. Twenty-one thirty. Oh, twenty-one thirty. There you go. Have a blessed day. How you doing? You owe thirty-seven. Uh, two dollars and eight cents. Have a good day. We are at $1,200. Chat, we can just stack money. We can just keep stacking money and aim for a goal of like $2,000 and put investments. Or we can aim for $3,000. Dude, this is going to be insane. But look at this. 
hardly any complaints. We only had like two complaints so far. Maybe I missed some. But from the looks of it, I had no other complaints besides those ones. We're thinking in the mind of a business entrepreneur and all that. We're thinking of it in the mindset of an entrepreneur. And look at, look at the milk go... Hold on. I'm increasing the price. I'm sorry. You guys keep spending. You guys are in demand for that milk. We have to make sh we have to make sure that freaking milk gets sold at the most premium price possible before it sells out. Apple juice is out of stock. Bro, they took the apple juice. I'll be with you. I need to buy some apple juice. Um, 1874, right? Have a good day. Farin, yeah, we need the farin flour, and we need apple juice. Dude, these things are selling like hotcakes. There is such a demand for this stuff. There is such a demand. Yeah, you better keep walking. Walk out. Bread is being sold like hotcakes, too? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We are going 675. We are going 675 with that, baby. 825 on the oil. 825 on the oil. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. We are not running out. We are not running out of stock. 575. I am cre increasing the stakes. Thank you. 34. Uh, 63. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, time to turn on the lights. It is close to closing time. They are willing to spend $8.25 for this oil. Oh my gosh. That is a whole meal. You realize that is a whole meal right there. Oh my. You're making me break a 50. Uh, 75, 85, 95, 96, 7. Thank you. Look at these people. They're so rich. Uh, 50, 55, uh, 25, 35, 40. There we go. All right, fifty-two eighty-eight, and I owe you twelve cents. There you go. We are so close to two thousand dollars. Oh my gosh, we are so close to two thousand dollars. I am like this close. I am this close to making it seven dollars on the bread. I am this close to making apple juice, making apple juice, whatever I had before, a different price. Um, 1270. Thank you so much. Dude, dude, dude. We need more customers. We need more customers. I know it's like 9 o'clock. We need more customers. Bro, we need more customers. We are like this close to getting 2000 on this day. $32.38. There we go. Have a good day. 1923. Dude, somebody needs to clutch in with a huge order. Somebody needs to clutch in with a huge order. 4520. Thank you so much, sir. You are so awesome. Six, seven, eight. There you go. Hello. Hey, um. Doing anything tonight? Yeah, same here. I'm working all night. What can I say? Oh my. <gasps> we hit 2,000. I'm gonna freak. Oh! $2,000! <gasps> oh, my first ever $2,000 on one. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This guy just clutched up our our uh, our business. This guy just clutched up our business. Oh my gosh! This guy is a lifesaver. This guy's a lifesaver. Oh my gosh! Look at how much bank we just brought in. Look how much bank we just brought in. Look at look at those satisfied customers. Look at those unsatisfied customers. 
But it's still underneath our satisfied customers. That is 22 customers unsatisfied. Because mostly something was expensive. Some people just tried to find something and wasn't there. But dude, we had 23 out of, out of 39. And the unsatisfied was 22 out of 39. Dude, how much did we lose? How, how much did we in, we have to put money in? How much? 2, 18, 89, plus $40, plus $50, plus 16, 16, 82. We spent $325.71. On this day, we spent three hundred twenty-five dollars and seventy-one cents on this very day, and look how much we brought in in return. The return profit was eight hundred sixty dollars and eighty-eight cents, and we are now at a goal of two thousand plus dollars, two thousand forty-eight dollars and sixty-two cents. We are thinking like business people. We have the mindset of an entrepreneur.